Greetings, folks. It's Ron from Wild and Weird, West Virginia, and the West Virginia High Strangeness Collective. I have got some footage for you guys today. This is the footage that you've been hearing about. This is the UAP footage from the incident that took place after Wild and Weird Con on October the 15th. This is the clip that was taken uh, on October 15th in Logan of the UAP, UFO, etc. Uh, that we captured after uh, Wild and Weird Con. You can watch the um, how that all played out in, in uh, the link below. Uh, it's been covered very extensively, but this is the actual clip footage. I wanted to put that up there for everyone to see. We are providing these clips for research purposes only. Uh, we ask that you do not use these clips in any commercial projects without consent and contacting us prior. Please. Thank you. This was captured on a um, thermal um, the make and model is visible right there. It was an AGM Top Hand 15384. It was on a tether, and that way it could be seen on and controlled on iPhone. This is clip number two. Clip number two is the one that Danner took. Clip number one is the one that Joe took, which has that amazing uh, J-curve maneuver, and uh, we will see that again at the end. I will loop it back. This is clip number two where the multiples show up and uh, Danner is trying to uh, keep them in frame as best as he can. Um, he was trying to figure out if these were birds at the time as were us. We were doing the same thing. We we're looking at these, trying to figure out what in the world we're looking at. We just seen a bug fly by there at the bottom. That gives you a good indication of what a actual insect looks like. And the insects were actually uh, captured later. We debunk a lot of that later on in uh, the uh, on the actual web page. There's a full report there. You can go look at that. The flight characteristics uh, of these things do not match birds. They do not match uh, insects. The closest thing they match is aircraft, but they're moving at an incredible speed. Uh, and also, since this, I had some time to mess around with the thermal. And I had taken it uh, back to various locations at this point and verify that these things are uh, there in clear skies. Clear skies seem to be a factor in this, at least as of right now. Uh, it's in patches of clear sky that we see these appear. Do not know what they are. Again, uh, we are we are not sure. They've been seen by uh, many researchers at this point. We've had this out and let other people look at it. We want more people to look at it and get more ideas as to what we're looking at. Some we may be able to filter out uh, that may be stray in birds, something like that, but the rest, no, they're not birds. Uh, there, here's a clear indicator. This one uh, is moving pretty uh, at a pretty good clip, and Danner's trying to hold on to it. When more start popping into the screen, you're going to see more of these pop up here in a second, and it becomes to the point to where we really start to doubt what we're seeing, uh, and that is why... Uh, I believe that we uh, we cut the uh, the footage at the end uh, because we were trying to just go back and look at this footage and try to figure out if we can right there on the spot figure out what we were seeing. There was no shortage. You could simply just point the uh, scope back to the sky and they were still there. There was there was no reason to record at this point because we had all the footage we needed. Our phones were dying, and uh, this is going to be a zoomed in. Uh, look at that that turn that one of these things makes and you can see it it's almost a 90 degree angle right there with a little bit uh, of momentum loss but not very much you're going to see multiple targets in this clip and these multiple targets will come into play in the field of view here this is a one-time magnification you're going to see some of these moving around and then you'll see one that comes through the middle and it's extremely fast uh, I slowed it down here for you. You're going to be able to see it a little bit better. We'll scrub it back if we need to, but I think you're going to see it right here. There's the one that comes through the moving pretty good, and then one comes, di there it is, coming diagonal now from the left, going all the way to the right diagonal corner. That thing is moving extremely fast. Uh, and here, we're going to watch this J-hook turn that Joe got. This is the original clip one footage. So here it is again. This is what he tracked. I thought it was an aircraft at first and began filming with the tether. And we realized we were not watching aircraft at this point. You're going to see one more show up here and do a loop around this thing. Unlike anything I've ever seen. And there it was right there. Just an amazing maneuver, whatever these things were. 
look, guys, we don't know what they are. We're not claiming that these things are, are you know, alien spacecraft or, or ETs, anything like that. We know that they are unidentified, they are flying, and they are some sort of phenomena. So we give this a UAP, a true definition of UAP right here. Uh, we do not see a physical craft. We do not believe that these are physical craft. If they are, I don't know how they're pulling these maneuvers off. Uh, we have no idea what they are. If you have any ideas, please let us know in the comments below and keep following us and, uh, and subscribing. It's free, remember? And share the content out to all your friends and make sure that we can get as many here that we can possibly get because we've got more things to drop. We've got a lot more evidence coming. We've got a lot more series coming where we're going to go out and do investigations and share those with you. Actually, we've been doing investigations for a very long time. We're just putting it all together for you in a more uh, readily available spot so you can come and enjoy that. Once we hit our magical numbers here, we are going to be able to do some really cool stuff for you guys. So make sure that you are liking, subscribing, and watching these videos. Thank you guys for everything that you've done and all the great support. And we will continue to support you guys in, by making more great content. Thank you all. Everyone stay wild and weird. And we'll see you out there.